For most of you are familiar with Westgate, uh, pretty comfortable with our value proposition. It really hasn't changed. Uh, for those that may be new, I'll uh, give you a bit of a background and then talk about how we see that applying into the market and what we've seen over the last 12 or 18 months. So at our core, you know, Westgate's all about it, automating the otherwise you know, pain in the neck manual process of building out a data warehouse and associated infrastructure. How do we reduce that time and then also the cost and the risk in building a data warehouse? How do we take uh, what you would do manually and actually automate those steps to allow you as an organization to construct a consistent data warehouse that's repeatable and also in a time frame that is matching the business needs? Expectations from the business around how you deliver data within a data warehouse or data infrastructure, expectation needs are pretty high. So how do I as a business deliver that value to the business in a time frame that meets their needs? We see a lot of companies, both you know, small, medium and also large organizations who are really starting to drive towards automation as a way for them to continue to deliver a warehouse in a, in a meaningful time frame. Also to make it manageable, extensible and usable over the long haul. So for us, it's really good to see that that automation story start to really be such a strong play in the market. The our value propositions all do it in a single tool that's all metadata driven, but we also see that a very critical aspect is the ability to automate the transitions between each phase. What we've done in the last 18 months is we've extended those project types out into now supporting data vaults as a built-in methodology within our tool set. And we have, particularly the last uh, 12 months, seen significant interest in companies going cloud. And then big data is probably the other one that we do a lot from a project type standpoint. So we don't really care so much about which database environment you run. We can actually manage uh, multiple within the same ecosystem and treat it all in the same. Key strength there is we can actually provide you lineage and documentation through the different environments. And that's a strong, a strong value proposition to our customers, both from an automation standpoint, but also from a, a data warehouse governance standpoint, as we get into these more complicated environments where automation can really start to make life a lot easier for you. We've had Red since uh, day one, that's our data warehouse infrastructure environment, managing the execution of the data warehouse, all of the database schema and tables and ELT code. We have 3D, which is our design discovery environment where you can go and point at a source system and, do it and discover it and profile it, get an understanding of what's in your source system. And then we've added what we call Data Vault Express as our, our latest offering. And that is a combination of uh, 3D and red with wizards and model conversions targeted specifically for Data Vault uh, methodology. So the ability to take your best practices for building hubs and sats and links and bundling those uh, wizards and automation capabilities within 3D and RED, and then providing that as an integrated solution for customers that want to do a data vault. So we've added, again, through the template engine, like I said earlier, uh, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, uh, Amazon Redshift, and then Snowflake as uh, fully supported platforms. We have a number of customers running each of those. A big announcement on, on Monday morning, we'll be announcing what we're calling our, our Westgate Automation with Streaming. We aren't going to go after the pure play, streaming only, data warehouse is dead thing. We're about augmenting the existing EDW, right? We expect the vast majority of our customers to have an EDW in place, and we're just augmenting the EDW or the data infrastructure environment with the streaming data, right? So we can take advantage of the existing resources, we can reduce the learning curve and solve the problem of them of finding people with the right skills. From a Westgate perspective, you know, we see streaming to be a growing ecosystem for, for people wanting to do data analytics and data warehousing, so we want to stay in the center of the market. We want to manage both batch and streaming data. And then I would expect as we evolve on the use case, we're providing the flexibility for you to stitch those pipelines together and persist it where you need to and where you see fit. The life cycle is still the same. I want to discover what's my data that I'm bringing in. If it's got structure that I care about, can I go and discover that structure rather than have to figure out what the JSON structure is by hand? And then from a design perspective, can I provide the same design approach where I can build out the type of pipeline I want and then actually uh, you know, have the code generated and then deploy it out to the infrastructure and operate it? So providing, again, wizards and best practices to help you through that. If your data is coming in from, from the edge, and landing into something like Kafka, we would treat that as a source system, do our necessary transformations and processing, and then write it out into a data store. 
Uh, we're about automating that data flow pipeline. And then what we actually do is turn around and generate, in this case, a StreamSets uh, SDC pipeline, and then we push it off to the, the StreamSets environment, and then they manage the execution. So we, we, we're still sticking with what we do best, which is automation.